Well, I reckon we start building our house right here, son. This is good land. Yes, Pa. But don't you reckon we should get some tools and lumber first? Son, did you say lumber and tools? Might help a little. Son, we don't need none of that. We're men. Our hands are our tools, son. And look around here, there's trees everywhere. And trees are wood. Nah, only a fool would go buy wood, son. Now, we're men, we'll gather our own resources. And we'll save a lot of money in the long run. You'll see, son. Your pa's always right. Whatever you say, Paul. Hey, Paul, do you reckon we can at least get some gloves? Son, did you say gloves? Son, we're men. We don't need to waste our money on gloves. Plus, that's how you make your hands stronger. Now go gather some wood. Yes, Paul. Damn kids. Well, son, I reckon this is a good spot as any. We'll build our farm right here. With some good land. Ow! Damn bugs. Gosh. Jolly D's. Oh, these bugs are annoying, son. I tell you, 1895s are way too many damn bugs. Hey, Paul, do you hear about the moving picture they're showing today? It's going to be a special screening. But I hear there's only going to be like 10 people, so we should go. Son, did you say moving pictures? Son, that's going to be a thing of the past. Ain't nobody got time to watch moving pictures move around. I tell you, technology's going to be the fall of man. You mock my words, though. Moving pictures will be short-lived, I reckon. Well, now be a good son and help your old man build a house. It's going to be a good farmland right here, I reckon. Yes, Pa. Well, I reckon we build our farm right here, son. This looks like good land, I reckon. Hey, Paul, do you reckon we could get a motorized wagon like the Smiths got? It looks really neat. Son, did you say a motorized wagon? Ain't no one gonna want to fiddle around with those things. It's gonna be a thing of the past. No, they're gonna rely on their good old horses, son. You mark my words. Your pa's always right. Now be a good lad and help your old man build a house. It's gonna be some good farmland right here. I reckon. Yes, Paul. Hey, Paul! Do you reckon we can get one of them new inventions? It's called a typewriter. Son, did you say a typewriter? And it can write faster than the pen. Can you believe that? Son, do I look rich to you? Son, Ain't nobody gonna waste $125 on one of them things. Nah, son, people are gonna rely on their good old pens. Plus, nobody's in that big of a hurry that they're gonna waste that kind of money on one of them things, son. Nah. You listen to your pa. Your pa's always right. Now run along and help your mother with the dishes. Yes, pa. I reckon we never get to do anything with phone. Typewriter. I tell you, they're coming up the worst inventions. Well, at least I'm no sucker. I reckon I'm smarter than most. Hey, Paul, do you reckon we should try that new invention? It looks really neat. It's called electricity. Son, did you say electricity? It comes with these bulbs that gives off lots of light so you can see better. Son, that's going to be short-lived. Ain't nobody going to want to mess around with that complicated, silly little gadget. Plus, who has time to fiddle around with all those light bulbs, son? Nah, son, people are going to line their good old candles to see. You mark my word, your pa's always right. Now run along and go help your mother those dishes. Yes, Paul. 
Electricity. What a scam. We ain't get my money. Mm -mm, no, sir. I reckon I'm smarter than most. <clears throat> yes, sir. Hey, Paul, you sleeping? Well, not anymore. What is it, son? Hey, Paul, do you reckon we can try one of them new drinks? It sounds really good. It's called the Coca-Cola. Son, did you say a Coca-Cola? Yes, yeah, sir. And my friend already tried one. He said it's so good. It gives him a lot of energy, and he can concentrate on school a lot better. Son, I ain't wasting my hard-earned five cents on one of them things. Well, hell, if you need your energy, go eat your vegetables. Come on, Paul, we never get to try anything new. Plus, I bought you a Dr. Pepper a year ago. You should be thankful for that, son. No, son, we already have Dr. Pepper and whiskey. We don't need another drink. Ain't nobody gonna buy that. Mm -mm. It's gonna be short-lived, son. You mark my words. Pa's always right. Now run along go help your mother those dishes. Yes, Paul. Coca-Cola. Yeah, right. I reckon that won't be around much longer. Mm-mm. No, sir. Well, they ain't get my five cents. Mm-mm. Hey, thanks, friend. Son, what are you sipping on on over there? It's the Coca-Cola, Pa. My friend let me try some. Son, did you say a Coca-Cola? Them things still around? Yes, yeah, sir. They're even starting to put them glass bottles now. See, maybe you should start listening to me once in a while, Pa. Well, it can't be that good. Well, let your old man have a swig. Let me see what all this fuss is about. Yes, yeah, sir, you gotta try it. It's the best thing I ever drank, seriously. Oh. Oh, all bubbly. Son, judging by the smell, it can't be that good. I reckon I'll take a swig. Son, takes a man to admit when he's wrong. Now take my money and get all the Coca-Cola you can possibly get! Woo! Well, all right. Wait until I tell the missus. Hey, Paul. Do you reckon we can get one of them new inventions? It's called the Kodak. Son, did you say a Kodak? And you can take pictures of things you really like and then you can cherish them forever. Son, ain't nobody gonna waste $25 on one of them things. Now son, people are gonna lie in their good old memories for that. Plus, who has time to stare at something they've already seen before? That just doesn't even make sense, son. Now they're just trying to take our money. They ain't gonna work on your old man. No sir, cause I'm smarter than most. Now run along go help your mother with the dishes. Yes, Paul. I reckon we never get anything fun. <laughs> Pictures. What a rip off. Well, they ain't gonna get my money. No sir. Hey Paul, do you reckon we can try one of them new uh, candy bars? They're called the Hershey's. Son, did you say a Hershey's bar? Son, ain't nobody gonna waste a hard-earned five cents in one of them things. No. Cocoa and milk mixed together? Son, that's gross. No, that's gonna be short-lived, son. You mark my words. Your pa's always right. Now run along and get us a loaf of bread for dinner. Cocoa bar. Yeah. I reckon that won't be around much longer. Yes, Paul. 
Paul, don't be mad, but I accidentally got that candy bar instead of that loaf of bread. Son, I told you to get a loaf of bread, not one of them candy bars. Way to waste five cents, son. Here, you seriously, you gotta try it. It's the best thing I've ever had, seriously. Oh. Well, hand over a piece. Let me see what the fuss is about, at least. Son, it takes a man to admit when he's wrong. Now take my wallet and get all the candy bars you can possibly get. All right. Wait until I tell the missus. Come on, son. It's time to go back inside. Supper's ready. Oh, come on, Paul. Can I just stay out here just for a few more minutes? Now, son, your mother's been working hard in that kitchen all day to get supper ready. Now, it wouldn't be very nice of us if we kept her waiting, now would it? No, I reckon that wouldn't be very nice of us. Excuse me? I mean, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. That's a good lad. Now, run along now. Yes, sir. Damn kids. Oh, wow. Hey, sweetie, it's a really nice day out. Don't you want to go outside and play with your friends? Shut up, Mom. I don't want to. Just give me six more hours. Excuse me? Damn, kids. What do you call me? Oh, Mom, I'm sorry. Please. Hey, Paul. Do you reckon we can get one of them new inventions? It's called the telephone. Son, did you say a telephone? It looks really neat. You can talk to someone that's a whole three miles away. Son, ain't nobody gonna waste their time on one of them things. No, people are gonna talk face to face, son. Plus, how you gonna know if someone's lying to you over one of them telephones? Trust me, your pa's always right. Now run along, go do your chores. Yes, Paul. Telephone. Yeah, I reckon that won't be around much longer. We can just ride a horse at three miles and go talk to somebody. Ain't nobody can be that lazy. I reckon. Hey, gee, thanks for my new shirt, Paul. I love it. This is the best present I've ever gotten. Seriously. Son, you're welcome. And thank you for my pot. I love it. I'm going to cherish it forever. And wait until the kids see me at school. They're going to be so jealous. And you better cherish that forever. I spent a whole three dollars on it. But that's not all your old man got you. Wait, you got me more than one present this year? Are you serious, Paul? That's right, son. You're really good this year. So I went out and bought your very own pocket watch. <gasps> My very own pocket watch? Thank you, Pa. This is just like yours. <gasps> That's right, son. Just like your old man's. Well, I do believe this was a pretty good Christmas, son. This is the best Christmas ever. Hey, what'd you get, Ma? Son, if your mother asked, I went hunting. Okay. <laughs> uh, Billy, where's your father running off to in such a hurry? Oh, he said he was going uh, hunting. Hunting? Oh, more like hunting for my Christmas present. Oh, first he spends all our money on Hershey bars and Coca-Cola, now this. Merry Christmas, Ma. Oh, he's dead.
Okay, this is bad. Real bad. Can't believe I forgot to get my wife a Christmas present again. I can't let her know I forgot this time. Oh, you went hunting? What a coincidence. I'm hunting too. Okay, there's gotta be something around here. Come on, there's gotta be something. Okay, there's gotta be something here. Oh, I know. Here, honey, I got you a rock shaped like my heart. With snow on it, because you melt my heart every time I look at you, honey. Nah, it's stupid. She'll never buy it. She'll know I'm lying. There's gotta be something, though. Okay, honey, I got your very own custom made back scratcher. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, all right, I did it. Hey, honey, wait to be impressed. Merry Christmas. I got your very own custom made state of the art back scratcher. Now, this thing is. Now, this thing is a uh, state of the art. Hold on a second, honey. Now this is a state-of-the-art back scratcher, honey. Now this is way better than anything money can buy. Wait, honey, it's perfect. Let me see it. Really? Well, all right. Here you go, honey. Wow. It truly is great, honey. Well, looks like I did it. I saved Christmas. Yep. Wait, honey. Why do you have that crazy look in your eye? Honey? Ah! Now, now, calm down, honey. Oh, 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 no. Get back here! Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Hey, Paul, do you reckon we can try one of them new inventions? It sounds really neat. It's called the electric heater. Son, did you say an electric heater? Yes, sir. It sounds really neat and helpful, especially for survival reasons. It can heat up our whole house all winter long, Paul. Could you imagine? Son, I ain't wasting my hard-earned money on one of them silly little gadgets. No, you can let the rich waste their money on one of them things. Plus, we're men, son, and we don't need to be pampered like that. No, we'll survive just fine on our own, son. And hell, if you're that cold, just wear more clothes. <sighs> that's all you have to do, son. Just bundle up, and that's how you save money. You listen to your pa. Your pa's always right. Now run along, go do your chores. Yes, Paul. Electric heater. What kind of scam they gonna try to cook up next? I tell you, technology will be the fall of man. Well, they ain't gonna get me. No, sir. Cause I'm smarter than most. <clears throat> I reckon. <laughs>